The sixth season of Outlander ended not too long ago in March of 2022. Now, as fans of the show await the next season, which is set to be released sometime in 2023, they are in search of something to hold them over. Well, look no further. Here are eight shows similar to Outlander that you can watch while you wait. Keep watching to possibly discover your new favorite period piece. First, let's talk about HBO's Catherine the Great. If you are one of the people who watch Outlander for its historic aspect, you will more than likely enjoy HBO's Catherine the Great. It is a four-part miniseries that focuses on the time near the end of Catherine the Great's reign. Playing the role of Catherine II is the legendary Helen Mirren. The show also features Joseph Quinn and Jason Clarke. The show debuted on HBO in 2019. What is good about Catherine the Great and other shows that follow similar setups is that the show is simply a miniseries, so you can watch all four episodes and see the show wrapped up completely. Unlike with other television, where you have to wait weekly for episodes to be released and sometimes even have to wait months for a show to premiere again. It was released to polarizing reviews from critics. Many critics enjoyed the performance given by Helen Mirren. They also thought that the show was still lacking in areas. The show is seemingly too long in some aspects while too short in others. It's also worth noting that fans who watched the show did not mind the time. They had found it being right in the middle of too long and too short to be just right. Next, let's discuss Pol Dark. A lot like Outlander, the show Poldark is a period drama series that is derived from a book of the same name. The plot of the series follows Captain Ross Poldark with Adrian Turner in the titular role as he goes back to the city of Cornwall. The series takes place after the American after the Revolutionary War with Adrian Turner's Poldark being a redcoat. Upon his return to Cornwall, he is met with infidelity and death. He also finds himself in atrocious debt and discovers that the home he once lived in was now in ruins. After meeting a young woman by the name of Demelza Karn, he decides to hire her as a scullery maid. As a man and woman tend to do, the two fall in love and marry in the year 1787. The series follows their lives along with many others as they deal with the life of a married couple. The show saw its final episode air on the 26th of August, all the way back in 2019. You can watch all five seasons of the National Television Award-winning show on Amazon Prime Video as well as Apple TV, Fudu, and PBS. Now, now let's talk about The Spanish Princess. Another stars series, the show The Spanish Princess is once again another time drama period. This series follows the story that was shown in the miniseries The White Queen and its follow-up series The White Princess. The series focuses on Catherine of Aragon, the first wife of King Henry III. What fans and critics alike found good about this show is that it tells the tale of both King Henry III and Catherine of Aragon, but through the perspective of the woman, like Catherine the Great. The Spanish Princess was created as a miniseries. Unlike Catherine the Great, there is no chance of this show seeing a comeback, as it was marked as a limited series. The series stars Charlotte Hope of Game of Thrones fame as well as Rory O'Connor. The Conjuring franchise alumni play opposite each other as wife Catherine of Aragon and husband Harry of York. It features all of the drama and romance that we came to love in Outlander. The miniseries currently has all 16 of its episodes available for streaming on Stars as well as stars Hulu and can be purchased on YouTube TV as well as the Roku channel. Next, let's discuss the Netflix series Bridgerton. One of the main shows brought up when somebody mentions a period drama is Bridgerton. The series took the world by storm when it was released on Christmas of 2022. The second season was released two years later in 2022 due to the production being delayed by the COVID-19 pandemic. When we say that it took the world by storm, it is not that much of an exaggeration. The show had 656 million hours hours watched within less than a month of its initial release day. The show has been praised for many reasons, one reason being its inclusion of more modern songs. The series has been known to make orchestral remixes of songs. Some artists that received an orchestra remix for the second season include Rihanna, Robin, Madonna, Nirvana, and Alanis Morissette, with Morissette even laying down her own vocals for the rendition of her song. This show is similar to Outlander once again through its themes of love and romance. The plot of Bridgerton centers around the eight Bridgerton series siblings as they search for love in London high society in the Regency era. All eight episodes of the show's two seasons are available for streaming on Netflix, with a season three on the way and to be followed by a season four. Let's now take a look at the series Rain. It is no surprise to anybody that this series is also a period drama. Regan tells the story of Mary Stuart, the Queen of Scotland, who goes to France with her head maidens, Lady Kenna Livingston, Lady Lola Fleming, Lady Greer Norwood, and Lady Ailey Sutton. The four women are searching 
searching for men to make their husbands. The ladies travel to France so Mary Stuart can act out her plan to secure a spot in marriage with the king's son, Prince Francis. The show is like Outlander with its main focal point being romance and exploration of historical themes. The fact that Mary Stuart also finds herself developing an attraction to Francis's illegitimate half-brother Bash adds lots to the drama aspect of the series. Mary Stuart finds herself in situations that are dangerous to her life and well-being, yet also situations that allow her to explore romantic options. The show stars Australian actress Adelaide Kane from The Purge. The show ran for four seasons, starting in 2013 and being cancelled by CW in 2017. There are 78 episodes of the period drama currently available for streaming on Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. The show can also be purchased on Apple TV. Next, let's look at Schmigadoon. Schmigadoon is a bit different than the other shows we've talked about on this list. This series takes place in the 1940s as opposed to centuries before. This show does not focus on kings and queens and their search for love. Instead, it focuses on backpacking couple Melissa and Josh, played by Cecily Strong and Michael Keegan Key. The two find themselves in a town called Schmigadoon. They very quickly realize that this town is not like others. It's a magician town that is filled with residents who are known to sing and dance quite often. The couple are stuck in the town of Schmigadoon until the two discover real love with each other, which they'd already thought to have had. The way this show is similar to Outlander is due to the Lost in Kansas-esque nature of the show. Melissa and Josh are similar to Claire Randall as they've both taken out of their normal life which takes place in the 1940s and thrown into a world full of crazy and bizarre situations. Now let's talk about the series Versailles. Versailles is a period drama that takes place in France in the year 1667. French nobility has only just started to rebel against the monarchy. George Blagen plays a 29-year-old King Louis XIV as he makes an attempt to override the nobility. The show first came out on 2016 and was cancelled because it couldn't gather enough viewers. Fans of Outlander may recognize the name Alexander Vlahos. Not only did he play the role of Philip de Orleans in Versailles, but he also appeared on Outlander, playing a character named Alan Christie. The show was released to palaising reviews. Many fans enjoyed the enthusiasm that the show had. Marjolaine Boutet of Le Monde said that the most interesting character on the show, who she said was Louis XIV's gardener Jack, didn't have as much screen time as he had deserved. All of the show's 30 episodes are available for streaming on Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. It can also be purchased on the Apple TV. Finally, let's talk about Sanditon. Sanditon is another period drama that is based on a novel. The series follows Charlotte Haywood as an accident of change leads her to the seaside resort of Sanditon. In the seemingly quiet Sanditon, she meets Sidney Parker, a man who, while charming, has intent to turn the fishing valley into a luxury resort. The series comes from writer Andrew Davis, who is most known for taking on another adaptation of Jane Austen's work in 1995 when he wrote the screenplay for the Pride and Prejudice miniseries. The series was released to polarizing reviews. Some were not a fan of the way that Davis handled the writing of Charlotte Haywood, while others didn't mind, but were not fans of certain episodes they felt they could have done without. When all was said and done, the series had its flaws, as does everything, but was said by most critics and fans to be worth a shot. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.